will teach you. Nos emeregith, wana ratora chi drunga sa inchobin sasha, dosima na rochata, tarana mo simu and asarans, crema sukum ratungala, chawi mo jubu in kosoracha. Fetko emeream ka wata situ in sula raka raka chata, tama sukin chuda muka, mo pituna wana si chukora tawa. Josimu Poindorakawa Ichi Vendu Muparama Kawana Abawasi You crawl ran one Mapusichi in Nolara Donos Emeregith Wana Rakora Chi Drunka Sa in Chobin Sasha Dosimana Rochata Donos Emeregith Wana ragora chi drunga sa in chobin sasha Dosima na rochata Moka kama ran endoso ran with no chabi Tu ran tamana sobu Fetko ima reyam ka wata situ in sula raka raka chata Tamaso kin chuda wanka Mopi una wana si chukora tawa Moka kama ran endoso ran wit no chabi Tu ran tamana sobu Tarana mo sibu and asarans Krema sukun ratungala Chawi mo jubu in kosoracha
You let the ship escape? I will deal with your failure later, Captain. But for now, find that ship. Our ally has indicated that the Jedi hasn't left the system yet. Send a detachment to Duxon. If you find anything, alert me immediately. Now get out of my sight. Calm. Their weapons are not raised. I do not think they wish to fight us. I'm surprised you got this far. The jungle doesn't usually let its prey go that easily. What are you doing here? We claimed 
this moon decades ago, when we reforged ourselves after Exar Kun's defeat. Some of us call it home. Why are you trespassing here? So you're the intruder. Our sensors picked up your handiwork in space. I am Mandalore, leader of the Mandalorians. This used to be the heart of the Mandalorian war effort. From this complex, we commanded an armada that had the Republic on the run. It didn't last. Mandalorians have a rapport with this jungle. Every moment here is a struggle. All creatures gripped in a constant war for survival. The sole purpose of the weak is to feed the strong. We train here and learn the lessons of the jungle. The beasts also help us keep our edge. They're scattered, perhaps. But we're still alive. Alive and rebuilding. Many Mandalorians have fallen from the path of honor, and are now no more than common mercenaries. But that is changing. So it's transportation you want. It so happens I have a small shuttle that's more than capable of running the Onderon military blockade. I make occasional trips to Isis for information and supplies. If you want to go with me, you're going to have to prove your worth. Figure it out yourself. Ask around. See if you can make yourself useful. Or something that'll show what you're made of. There is one thing. Before your ship landed, we were preparing some demolition work. All the activity forced my men to stop before they finished. The charges need to be detonated before anybody comes across them, so all you'd have to do is flip a switch. We were trying to uncover the entrance to a hidden cache of old Mandalorian equipment. The explosives should be easy to find. Just get to it before the Canucks do. The last months before Duxon fell, the old Mandalore knew that Revan and the Republic were gaining the upper hand. He ordered our best engineers to hide caches of weapons and munitions throughout the moon, safely away from the enemy's hands. They're not much more than a couple of plasteel cylinders. Before you get any bright ideas, if you uncover cache B-13, leave it alone. Even if you survive the traps, it would require military-grade explosives to open without the proper access codes. What's inside belongs to the Mandalorians. The last months before Duxon fell, he... Don't you think they tried? It's real easy to hide things in a jungle. 
Even when they found some of our caches, our engineers left them some presents. Canucks are nothing more than pests, but they have a real talent for screwing up plans. Just get to those explosives in the next day or so and you'll be fine. I'll let Kex know that you check out. We found more gear than we can use, so you can trade with him if you need some more supplies. Be careful in the jungle. Our patrols have stopped until the space traffic dies down. The challenging beasts have been cleared from the area, but what's left might still be too much for you. What do you want? When you were last here, you probably didn't even go to Onderon. The Republic knew that Onderon's fate would be decided on its jungle moon, not the planet itself. To begin with, when you talk about Onderon, you're really talking about the ancient walled city of Isis. It's the only inhabited settlement on the planet. It depends on who you ask. Queen Talia rules from the royal palace, but her cousin, General Vaklu, has a great deal of power in Isis as well. They disagree about many things, just like their citizens. We fought General Vaklu during the war, and he is a worthy adversary. Queen Talia is young and hardly a match for him. Onderon is a recent addition to the Republic, joining during one of the darker eras in Republic history. Since joining, the Republic has endured many wars and great battles. The people of Onderon don't possess the resolve and strength needed in these times. Many of them want to break away from the Republic. They want to go back to an earlier age when they could cower behind their walls. Their spinelessness made them easy to conquer. It's Mandalorian business, not yours. I could, but I don't know you. Once I get to know you, I might tell you more. But not now. That's not going to work. I've traveled with Jedi before, so I know all about your tricks. If you want something from me, you're going to have to convince me the old-fashioned way. I don't blame you. There are sad people. I have some things to look into. I'll talk to you later. What do you want? All scouts, report in. You 
won't get a fight from me. We've been ordered to let you have free passage through the camp with no trouble. I'm Kex, the new quartermaster. If a Mandalorian needs something, they come to me. Mandalore's ordered me to let you have access to our supplies, including some military-grade surplus. It's not free, though. You can pay with credits or trade in some of your gear. Doesn't matter to me. Blasters, energy shields, armor, and other fighting gear. All in good condition, though I doubt you could afford it. Yeah, I do. I don't know why Mandalore would let some outsider roam around our camp without an escort. If it were up to me, you would have been shot on sight. Mandalore must think you're something special. I won't, as long as the Mandalore's orders stand. If he wants you dead, though, then I'm gonna be the first one gunning for you. The greatest honor for a Mandalorian is to distinguish themselves in battle. But as age comes upon us, some are forced to find honor in other pursuits. They are sisters, freighter pilots, technicians, or quartermasters. There's honor there, but it's nothing compared to the heat of battle. For someone young like me, this task is distasteful. There are many battles left in me, yet I'm relegated to this. My predecessor was loading equipment from Cache D5. Mandalorian engineers must have worked the double shift on that one. The old quartermaster was carrying out a load of blast converters and walked straight into a beam splitter. Pieces of them wound up all over. So I got the job, and here I am. It's bad enough I have to stand here and pass out supplies while the others go on patrol. I'm not going to disgrace myself further by being your guide. The only advice I'll give you is, when you're in the jungle, shoot anything that moves. Then shoot the things that don't move, just to be sure.
don't want them finding our base. I don't know. It was some sort of freighter. It didn't land at any of the clearings along the path. Knowing some of the larger Duxan beasts, the crew's probably already dead. The people of Onderon still live in fear of us. They were the first world we conquered in the Mandalorian Wars. Their resistance was laughable. We cut through their defenses like vibral blades through cloth. Isis fell within hours. If they knew we were here, they would eventually gather enough courage to attack us. It is not a battle we wish to wage. Yet. Who knows? Our relay dish is down, and until Zuka repairs it, we're blind. The Onderon military has cordoned off the planet, so there shouldn't be anybody else down here. Still, our sensors occasionally pick up signals on the surface. It's like someone is searching the planet, and doing so under the noses of the military. Whoever they are, they've stayed clear of us. I don't know. Duxun's all jungle except for this camp. If you want to pitch in, go ahead. Zuka hasn't been able to get the damn thing up and running. You can find him in the eastern side of camp, just south of the hangars. Look for the sparking wires, and he won't be far. We heard reports of a Zakeg wandering the paths around here. They're a good challenge for Mandalorians. If you see one, stay out of its way. Without us to back you up, you'll be dead in seconds. It's a huge red lizard that's built like a Baragwan battle tank. It has a hide so thick it might as well be Durasteel plating. We keep clearing them out of the area, but they keep coming back. They're tough opponents for non-Mandalorians. You fight a Zakeg. If you survived such a battle, you'd gain much honor. Strong words. It would be amusing to see you try to kill such a beast. Try the outlying jungle paths if you're determined to seek one out. And bring me back a trophy from your kill as proof of the deed. If you head outside the camp, remember that there won't be any... If you head... If you... Ready to head back to your ship? Give the word and I'll take you there. operational, but several components are broken and need repair. Without the relay, we're vulnerable to attack, especially right now. Your space metal may have attracted unwanted attention, and our shuttle sensors can't cover the whole moon. Oh, it seems just about everything involved with a relay dish is broken. I've been trying to fix it for weeks and still no success. If you think you can help, there's the broken cables right over there, and the relay maintenance structures behind me. You can find the telemetry computer in there. The only thing I know for sure is we need a new phase pulse converter for the tracking computer. We actually already found one in an old weapons cache, but flaming Canox ate it. That's a problem with Canox. They'll leave you alone if you keep your distance.
but if you turn your back on the pests, they'll eat anything they can get in their mouth. We checked the cash manifests, and that's the only one that was in storage. It's probably the only working converter on this moon. They're vermin, and no challenge for a Mandalorian. Since they provide no sport, we ignore them. Just gut every cannock you come across. You wouldn't believe the things you can find in those little beasts. All right, then. Come back when you have the converter and we can see about getting these systems working again. Any pro...
The match between Kex and Jedi is over. The Jedi is the clear and honorable victor. If you want to fight again, let me know.
young to fight in the Mandalorian Wars. With our clan scattered, there was no opportunity to prove myself. Years ago, young Mandalorians would fly point in a basilisk, laying waste to anything before them, at the forefront of battle. But this has been denied me. What little honor I have earned, you stripped from me in the battle circle. This I won't allow. Now you face a true Mandalorian on the field of battle.
I've still got repairs to finish up here. I don't know how long it's gonna take. Might as well explore the area and see what's out there. No, it's nothing too complicated. It'll just take a while. Besides, two people in an access hatch won't speed anything up.
into a group of Canucks and got torn apart. He can't have been the only one crawling around here. If there's more, we need to take them out. You up for some action? Hmm. Good to hear it. There's more of these scouts in the jungle. There's many paths and I don't want them to slip by. If we split up, we should be able to find their scouts. Up for it. I'm going to take up a position to the east. You go west. I'll make sure none of them get past me. I haven't seen anybody come around here yet. Keep looking to the west. Set the staging camp up here. This jungle just never ends. Lieutenant, two of our scout patrols haven't reported back. Do more? Nothing is worth this. More beasts! Everyone, attack! On. He got swarmed by those little beasts. I think they're called Canucks. I hope this mission is worth it to the car. Wait, did you hear that? That's him! Get him! Let me handle this. <laughs> more of their scouts, but 
they started shooting as soon as they saw me. I heard blaster rifle fire coming from deeper in the jungle. You find anything? That's the way I would have handled it as well. But I had my orders. Find out anything useful from them? Colonel, huh? Could be Colonel Tobin. Tobin is General Vaklu's personal cat hound. If he's on your trail, you might want to steer clear of Onderon. General Vaklu is the cousin of Queen Talia. He's also in charge of the Onderon military. He led the Onderon resistance when we occupied their world during the Mandalorian War. He was a worthy foe. Maybe more than a match for you. Mandalore needs to know about the scouts. I'll let him know your role in dealing with them. They're Onderon military, although they were trying to be secret about it. I've got a feeling you're going to need all the help you can get. One last thing about the battle circle. Your actions have proven you worthy of facing our best in the circle. Perhaps we can face each other there. See you at camp. through even these simple creatures. If you empty your mind, you may be able to feel its thoughts. They aren't free but basic instincts, urges, dominated by every breath and every moment, primal and unsophisticated. Good. Beasts can be easier to affect than other sentients, but you must bridge the gap between what distinguishes us and them. You feel its consciousness, yes, like a low rumble before the storm. Use the force to create a barrier around it. Make it with care and subtlety. And you have the potential. With practice, you can make any animal passive and pliable. But the cage around their perceptions is a fragile thing. Many things can break its hold. Violence, especially. With the Force, anything is possible. But that is the end of the lesson for now. Thank you. 
Let us end this.
need you to echo my failures to me. I need your aid. Enough of this. If you're only here to mock me, then leave. Don't touch that button. It'll blow up all my charges. Lost finally satisfied.
repairs or the phase pulse converter. You do? Let me see. I don't know how, but these pieces look in good enough shape to repair. I'll have the telemetry computer repaired in no time. I'll be sure to tell Mandalore how much help you've been. I know you didn't ask, but here's a reward anyway. Mandalorians are expected to do anything they can to help, but you're a stranger, and you didn't have to help us. The Onderon military has stepped up their presence around Onderon. If you try to go back there in your ship, they'll blast you into space dust. They're blockading any Republic ships from landing on the planet. Looks like your little space battle has made the military dig in its heels.
ready to go to ISIS yet? I know, it made quite a racket. Good work. That's to be expected. They don't really like it when someone makes loud noise in their territory. It wouldn't be much of a test if all you had to do was take a hike through the jungle, now would it? You're alive, in one piece, and learn something about the beasts of the jungle. Are you ready to go to ISIS yet? Kelborn told me that they were covert military and probably aligned with Colonel Tobin from ISIS. Kelborn doesn't think they'll send out any more scouts, but that doesn't mean there aren't more of them out there. When you were last here, you probably... To begin with... We're not self-sufficient here. We need supplies. ISIS is the only place to go for them in this system. Not much choice. Which is unfortunate, because their animosity towards Mandalorians makes it inconvenient to go there. I don't blame you. Are you ready? I'm going to talk with Zuka and have him start a shuttle flight check. After that, we'll head out. How are the port stabilizers? They check out Mandalore. All systems are green. Good. I want the shuttle bound for Onderon within the hour. What do you want? Is all in readiness? <laughs> it is. Like I promised. Why? You want to back out now? My only concerns are for the one you escort to Onderon, Mandalorian. Would you do any less for one of your clan? Don't pretend to understand us. We Mandalorians are a breed apart. If by apart you mean scattered, broken, and lost, then yes, you are correct. Not for long. Soon the Mandalorians will be strong again, united as one clan under one banner. Mine. Ah, yes. The Great Crusade. After the first one was ended by Revan and the Jedi, such a defeat was merciful, an echo of the end, when your ships were in flames, crushed in the grip of Malachor V. But I do not need to remind you of such things. I was at Malachor V, and I remember how many Jedi died to stop us there. And no matter how many dead orbit that planet, the Mandalorians still live. Clan Ordo still lives. See Kex there? He was serving on Nar Shaddai's muscle for the huts. Kelborn was a scout for the Duros on Frontier Worlds. I brought them here, gave them a purpose. This galaxy will be ours again, I promise you. That is the future. Indeed. The future is always in motion. It is a difficult thing to see. Perhaps there will be no New Age Mandalore, no great Mandalorian Crusade. Perhaps your people fought their last battle at Malachor V, and you have been dying ever since, a quiet death that will last centuries. And perhaps all that remains will be what I see before me. A man wounded by a Jedi, encased in a Mandalorian shell, hunted by the thought of being the last of the Mandalorians. You've got some guts talking to me like that. You think your age or your Jedi whelp are going to keep you safe from me? No, Mandalore, you are wrong. I hope that it is you who will keep the one I travel with safe. You are loyal, and you have served many masters, even when they abandoned you. Do you wonder where he wanders now, Mandalore? Why he gave you your orders, then abandoned you at the edge of the galaxy? How do you know that? I know many things, and I can answer the question that burns within your shell, Mandalore. But there is a price. You must keep the one I travel with safe. He is important to me, more important than anything. Show the same loyalty you have shown in the past, Mandalore. If there is a Mandalorian crusade, 
Let it be for something that will carry your people's memory into the future. So when the time comes when there are no more Mandalorians, then at least their honor will remain. The one I travel with has walked your same path, and I ask that when the end comes, that you remember that kinship, even if it seems there is nothing else left. Forget the Jedi. Keep your eyes on her. Hmm. One, two, three. Mandalorians, we've got company. Stealth targets have breached our perimeter. Wait a moment. I sense there is a disturbance in the camp. Our enemy has tracked us here. I did not expect them so soon. How did they get here, I wonder? Regardless, we must eliminate them all. None of them can escape. Our whereabouts must remain a secret. Let us join the battle. Our allies will need our help. Thank you. 